Take on to the next battle of the evening. This is a amateur A class bar for over five or three in the round. And it is for the FCC Live Heavyweight Championship belt. Your first fighter, seventh of the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, AJ Akunde! for your co-main event of the evening. It's the Enigma, AJ Candy versus our FCC light heavyweight champion, reigning and defending, Brett the Spartan McDermott. Hold tight, people. There is no doubt that this is going to be a roller coaster. How long this roller coaster is going to be, who knows? But uh, yeah, there's no doubt both fighters are going to bring it. This is going to be a war. If this fight goes past the first round, I will eat referee Neil Hall's underpants. I'm going to hold you to that. You've got it here. We've all heard it. This is a contract, it's just binding contract has just been formed. But anyway, we digress. Uh, look, let's point out some key, key issues here. First of all, uh, AJ has said, train at, at SBG is Carl Townsville. Now, AJ's training partner is Dave Graham. And Dave Graham, is, is one of the only people to, to beat Brett. So, you know, obviously he's got some really in, good inside knowledge and, uh, you know, a, 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 great, a great setup for AJ coming into this matchup with McDermott. And, Jez, I know these guys are only light heavyweights, but I think once again, it's time to give a shout out to Jay Furness, it's time to give a shout out to Ben Cartledge, and it's time to sound the unit alarm. Because these boys are two big old units. Brent the Spartan McDermott, our reigning defending FCC lightweight champion. This guy, this guy drags around 50 kilo bags of coal on his back for a day job. Don't even talk to me about coal strength, Jez, this guy's got it. But AJ Candy, his last fight, won by knockout in four seconds. The dude's a machine. And let's not forget, this guy's fighting out of SBG. Carl. Carl with a K, sorry Carl. Carl with a K, Townswell does not put a fighter in unless he thinks he can win. He thinks AJ Candy can win. 
But you know, we've had this we've had a situation twice now where with McDermott. So Mick McDermott, you know, for Mitchell Richards, came in almost the underdog. Referee Neil Hall going to start this common event evening. Five three-minute rounds in the FCC light heavyweight division for the title. Can Get cash for gold on the line because one of these boys <laughs> is walking home with the belt. Yeah, so, you know, Luke, uh, uh, Brett came in again against the defence title against Luke Taylor. And, you know, we know how that one as well. So, you know, it's not one to be underestimated. He's a champ for a reason. A candy, suppose he has a, a taekwondo background, nine amateur boxing fights, and he's a big old unit, obviously. Brett McDermott, dude's a machine. Ten years in the RFL, the guy's an athlete. Six and two amateur MMA. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? Three months ha has, um, you know, can play for a, a, a fighter like Brett McDermott. You know what he can work on, and, and, and he's such a meticulous trainer. You know, he'll look at his weaknesses, and he'll, he'll train so hard to get them out of his system. And uh, you know, that's what I love about Brett McDermott. He every time, every time we see Brett, we underestimate him. And, and, every time he surprises us. And every time you see him, he goes from strength to strength. So. Great head movement there by Brett to avoid those long punches of AJ. AJ Kelly's got a reach advantage, he's very rangy. And for a Taekwondo fighter, that's exactly the kind of frame he wants. Oh, and a big leg kick to the, to the back leg. And a nice knee there to the head of Brett McDermott from AJ Kandy. That's how Dave Graham beat Brett McDermott. But McDermott answers back with a nice right hook. Yeah, McDermott knows the threat that's going to come from him, and, he, and he, he's fighting a very sensible fight so far. Oh, and a big leg kick by AJ Candy. Knocks Brett McDermott off his feet, and AJ now in the half guard of Brett McDermott. Well, he softened up with the first one, and the second one came with purpose. Put his opponent down on the ground, and you know, passes straight into mount. It's a dangerous position for Brett McDermott to be in. AJ Candy trying to rain down ground the pile on Brett. Brett getting wrist control, incredible grip strength he's got there, defending. And there's a sweep by Brett McDermott! Wow! Brett McDermott ends up taking AJ Candy's back. A Candy back to his feet, McDermott drags him down. Yeah, some great wrestling there. Raw oh, power by Brett McDermott, now inside control. Yeah, what, what, a, what a great series of moves from uh, Brett McDermott. You know, he's in trouble and, uh, you know, some explosive power. And, you know, we, we've come to expect that from him. We know, we know he can bring that. Wow. And McDermott now with Indeed. And they're back on their feet and they're going to trade bombs. You know, Jez's experience has always told me to bet on the big black guy, but this time I've got no idea who's the favorite in this fight. And AJ Candy lands a big right hand on McDermott, but McDermott takes it on the chin, answers back. Uppercut by a candy. But a great right hook by McDermott. These guys are trading leather. Sound the unit alarm. Oh my god, McDermott with a takedown by Candy takes his back. Yeah, this one's all over the place. And it's now AJ Candy in top position. Yeah. Side control. Oh my god. At the end of the first round. Unbelievable. Jez. I am so glad I'm not a judge. Give me a second, I've just got to catch my breath. What an action-packed first round. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. You've got to say though, right at the end of that, Brett McDermott put a lot of energy into that throw and you know, he, he looked to, looked to you know, be quite tired, but uh, you know, I don't think that really probably carries a lot because one thing we know is that Brett McDermott has conditioning. Jez, I'm not even going to make a prediction on that first round, but what I'm going to say is that this is a family show, so all I'm going to say right now is, holy effing S. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a treat, isn't and it? And AJ Candy, his corner's out of the ring, and he's pacing already. Mind games. Mind games being played right here. Carl Tantwell still shouting instructions. I think they did that on purpose. Well, Brett McDermott's known for getting nervous before his fights, and I think they're taking full advantage by getting out 30 seconds before the belt. Yeah, it's, uh, half the battle's in the mind, isn't it, you know? It's not an easy thing. I, you know, massive respect to every single guy. You know, win or lose, he comes in this cage. You know, it takes some balls. So, you know, if you can get into that, if you can get into your opponent's mind, that's a big advantage. Second of five rounds here, FCC four light heavyweight title fight, and these big old units are trading. 
Brett McDermott, AJ Candy, the proven champion against the unproven challenger, and they are trading heavy leather in the centre of the octagon. And Candy now backs up on the cage. McDermott tries to throw one and get in for the takedown. He's going for the single leg. He's going to use that raw strength and he gets the takedown, there's Brett McDermott. Yeah, great work there. You know, Brett's looking to go pro after this fight, win or lose, and he's had such a prolific amateur career. I'm sure he wants to go out on a win. And at the moment, looks like he might just do that, Jess. Well, he's got the pedigree and, uh, you know, he's showing, he's showing the quality, he's shining through right now. Um, he, he's got the measure of AJ, in all fairness, at the moment. And, uh, you know, once again, uh, you know, you, some people, you know, they, they underrate this guy. I don't know why, to be honest. Every time we see him, he comes out, and, and, you know, and he's got a game plan, he employs it. And, uh, and I, I think what we spoke about previously is about his ability to really listen and absorb, you know, the advice that he gets from his corner. He's trying to land some ground and pound right now. Being incredibly ring aware, kicking the legs when he's got to. That's hurting AJ Candy. Beautiful leg kicks by Brett McDermott. Straight to side control. Neon Belly into him out, and now he's going to rain down the ground and pound. This is where Brett likes to be, using his raw power, using his raw strength. He is ground and pounding AJ Candy, looking to make the third successful defence of his FCC light heavyweight title. Neil Hall's taking a good look at this, Jez. Yeah, this is an absolutely phenomenal position to be in in this in this stage in the fight. There's a lot of this round to go. Uh, if credit to AJ, uh, a lot of fighters in this position would turn their back and, and you know give it up. But you know he's taking it. You know he, he doesn't want to sacrifice. He knows the result of that. He, he's willing to eat some of these and see it out. But uh, you know he really is taking some punishment from uh, Brett McDermott right now. And the explosive AJ Candy trying to book out, but McDermott's got a solid base and he is whooping that ass right now. Big bombs coming down from Brett. He's going to be careful. He doesn't punch himself out. Neil Hall stopped the fight. Neil Hall stopped the fight. That's a TKO. Ground the pound stoppage. Brett McDermott makes another defence of his FCC light heavyweight title. The crowd aren't happy. No, they're not. And Carl AJ's corner aren't happy. He Carl Townsend. a lot of ground and pound there. Carl Townsend. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be mute. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Greg, uh, Brett had him in a dominant position and, uh, you know, some concentrated ground and pound there. And uh, once again, another fantastic title defence by Brett McDermott. And, uh, you know, there's a reason why this guy is going pro because he's got the quality to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 24 seconds of the second round, by way of a ground and pound, your winner, and still FC Sinclair, heavyweight champion, Greg Vespartan, McDermott! Please show your appreciation for AJ Akunye. Just like an over here, Nancy, I'm a pretty worthy. Hello again. I'm here with you, Brett. I'm just coming in there, Brett. How are you doing, my man? Awesome. It's, uh, it's getting to become the occurrence now. Every FCC, you come in here, you find your friends with some problem. A lot of people cut you out, a lot of people write you off. You pull through, you get a victory, Brett. How does it feel? Uh, the dude's obviously incredibly powerful, incredibly explosive. We didn't really know a whole lot about the place this fight. How do you prepare for a guy who's obviously got the physical gifts but doesn't really have the experience and you can't watch the tape with him? How do you prepare for AJ Candy? That guy was fast. In experience, he was fast. He just got through all the races, you know. He played his team. And he's still going to have him give is it true that you can uh, often get the gear on the floor? I told you about the gear on this side. Yeah, I'm not really going to get you on It's pretty impressive. Brett, um, there's a lot of talk about how you... Brett, there's a lot of talk about how you... Apparently, you've got one or two fans in, Brett. Um, I'll take all of the support you tonight. Uh, if anything you want to 
say to the coaches and the fans, coaches, thank you very much. Keep your faith in me. Keep your pushing. Bob Cassidy there. Down to your cousin all day. Soccer boys. Well, Brad, I must say, I've called your last three fights now. It's been an absolute honour and a pleasure. You're a fantastic mixed martial artist. I feel privileged to have called your amateur fights. I genuinely hope you will come back to FCC and I can call the new pro fights as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad, the star.